Joseph Birchtold, born on March 6, 1897, in Ingolstadt, Germany, is a name that may not be as readily recognizable as some of the more infamous figures from the Nazi era. However, his role in the early days of the Nazi party was significant and cannot be overlooked. Birchtold was an early senior member of the Nazi party, playing pivotal roles in the creation of both the Sturmabteilung SA, and the Schutzstaffel SS. His journey through World War I, his involvement in the rise of the Nazi party, and his subsequent career paint a complex picture of a man who contributed to one of history's darkest chapters. Early Life and World War I Joseph Birchtold's early life was marked by conventional pursuits. He attended school in Munich from 1903 to 1915 and then served in the Royal Bavarian Army during World War I, rising to the rank of second lieutenant by the war's end. Following the war, he pursued higher education in economics at the University of Munich and began a career as a journalist. It was during these post-war years that he took his initial steps into the world of politics and extremism. Rise within the Nazi Party In early 1920, Birchtold joined the German Workers' Party DAP, a small extremist organization that would later evolve into the National Socialist German Workers' Party, Nazi Party or NSDAP. His dedication to the party was evident as he became its treasurer, a position he held until his resignation in July 1921. Birchtold's involvement in the SA, the Nazi Party's paramilitary wing, began in 1922. Initially, he was one of only eight men who constituted the Stabswash, Staff Guard, tasked with protecting party speakers at rallies and policing party meetings. This early incarnation would evolve into the more recognizable SA. One of the defining moments in Birchtold's SA career was the ill-fated Beer Hall Putsch of November 9, 1923. The SA, along with other paramilitary units, participated in this coup attempt aimed at seizing power in Munich and eventually Berlin. The coup failed, resulting in casualties and the incarceration of key Nazi figures, including Adolf Hitler. The Nazi party and its affiliated groups, including the SA, were disbanded. Birchtold, however, managed to escape Germany and sought refuge in Austria where he continued to engage in illegal Nazi party activities. When Hitler was released from prison in 1924, Birchtold was already serving as the district director of the Nazi party in Carinthia, Austria, and as the leader of the SA in the region. He quickly rejoined the Nazi party when it was reformed in February 1925. Leadership in the SS Joseph Birchtold's role took a significant turn in April 1926 when he succeeded Julius Schreck as the leader of the Schutzstaffel SS, a special elite branch of the Nazi party initially under the control of the SA. Birchtold's tenure saw him change the title of his office to Reichsführer SS and establish new rules for the unit. Under his leadership, Birchtold emphasized the SS's loyalty to the party and Adolf Hitler setting it apart as a small squad of reliable men. Despite his dynamic approach, Birchtold struggled to assert the SS's independence from the SA, leading to his eventual disillusionment with the organization. On March 1, 1927, he handed over leadership of the SS to his deputy, Erhard Haydn. Post-SS Career and Propaganda Following his tenure in the SS, Birchtold shifted his focus towards propaganda and journalism. He became a prominent writer for the Volkischer Biobacter, the Nazi party's newspaper. Throughout the 1930s, he continued to contribute to various Nazi publications, further propagating the party's ideology. Additionally, Birchtold held several political positions within Nazi Germany, albeit of secondary importance. He served as a city councilman in Munich, was appointed to the Reich Culture Senator position, and was a member of the Reichstag. He even temporarily served in the Wehrmacht during World War II as a captain of the reserve. Post-war fate The end of World War II in Europe marked a turning point in Birchtold's life. 
He was arrested in 1945 and interned at Oberpfaffenhofen. After a period of internment, Joseph Birchdold died on August 23, 1962, in Herschingham am See, near Munich. Notably, he was the last surviving person to hold the rank of Reichsführer SS and the only one from that position to survive the Second World War. Joseph Birchdold's life is a testament to the complexities of individuals who were part of the Nazi Party. His early involvement and leadership roles in the SA and SS, as well as his later career in propaganda, provide a window into the inner workings of the Nazi Party during its rise to power and the subsequent war years. Understanding figures like Birchtold is essential for comprehending the full scope of the Nazi regime's influence and its impact on history. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. You can also help to support of my channels at PayPal details in the description box below.